Hey everybody and welcome to another beer review. Uh, today we'll be reviewing a beer from Collective Arts Brewing, as you can obviously see from the awesome. Well, this was kind of a, a weird, a weird drawing. You can definitely tell apart uh, which beer is from Collective Arts because you can really de definitely tell them apart from the art that's on them. This one here definitely caught my eye, obviously, with the guy sitting on a bench with no shirt on. Uh, definitely something weird. But before we get too much into the beer, I want to give a sh quick shout out to all my sponsors um, and supporters. So first off, I want to give a big shout out to Matt Roy from Bass Attack Fishing. Uh, another reminder, I've been repeating myself quite often that the registration for the uh, Catching Kayak is open right now. They've got an amazing package on their Facebook site, uh, Facebook page right now. Uh, you can definitely go and check out. So make sure to give them a like and on their Facebook page and uh, check that out and check out their packages they have, avail have available. Uh, actually, fishing season just opened up a couple days ago maybe. Uh, so we'll have Matt in uh, from Bass Stack Fishing having a beer review. Uh, we'll be having a beer. We'll be chatting about what he's got to offer uh, with Bass Stack Fishing, talking about all the packages they have available and uh, different fishes and different adventures that, that you can go on and uh, stuff like that. And... Uh, I'm thinking probably this summer I'll be doing a review on a kayak, uh, maybe catching a bass or two. Uh, so I'm definitely looking forward to that. It's a great partnership we have going on. Uh, we, I've known him for years and it's a, it's a great company he's got out there. And also a big thanks to Old Bootlegger. Uh, definitely a major uh, supporter of the, of the show with the camera and the mic and everything else and just about everything that I need. Uh, so make sure to stop in there for uh, uh, an amazing cold uh, New Brunswick craft beer. Uh, they got over 20 taps they're flowing so make sure to stop in there and also i want to give a, a big shout out to one of my new sponsors who just came in and uh, helped me up with this amazing sign right here uh, craft beer brings a cheer from Bostil decor um, they're definitely your one-stop shop for decor and everything else in your house uh, as far as paint and flooring goes uh, i redid my basement not too long ago and i went i, I bought everything from paint to the moldings uh, for the flooring, uh, flooring as well. They've got a great team there. They'll match your floorings to the perfect color on your walls. Uh, so make sure to hit them up uh, and uh, find your uh, the the missing the missing piece in your house. And uh, also a big shout out to Sagas and Akav, of course, for being awesome supporters. And uh, Nathan Dimitrov. And of course, we'll be talking about this glass right here from Gymline Glassware. So this one here, radio to the mothership. This beer here is a Imperial IPA. Uh, very strong beer, it's at 8.5. Being an Imperial, when they say it's an Imperial IPA, uh, Imperial meaning it's it, the alcohol content, it's gonna be absolutely a strong beer, obviously. Uh, it's gonna be ranging between eight and 12%. Um, this one's definitely on the low side at 8.5%. Um, so if you're at a bar and you see an Imperial IPA sitting there, don't be an asshole and order five big mugs of these things. You'll be crawling on the floor, licking peanuts off the floor. Uh, really looking like a dick. Uh, so don't do that. Get a big one if you want, but split it with a friend. Uh, these are very, very strong beers. Or if you got a, a newborn baby just like me and you're trying to, to have it to go to bed and you just want to say go to fuck this sleep. No, I'm just kidding. I love my baby. She's a sweet little girl. Um, this is a great beer to just... Make up for uh, the sleepless nights. It's, it's a great relaxant. So definitely a strong beer. It's one that you can share with a friend for sure. Uh, I've never had it before. I'm always excited to see some collective arts brewing uh, in the liquor store. This one here, I found it in Moncton. Uh, as far as people who are listening who are up in my area, in the Bathurst area, uh, definitely not gonna have it here. I don't think so. Uh, I did find it there in Moncton. I don't know where else in the province they do have it. You can always look up their website at ambl.com and find where the Collective Arts beer is. I'm sure they got a, a nice directory uh, for the Collective Arts uh, and letting you know which stores has what beer. So this one here, it's got some pretty amazing hops in there. It's got Mosaic, Citra, and Simcoe. Uh, so Citra, obviously bringing in some citrus, uh, tropical taste to it. Mosaic, bring it in. Mosaic basically is Citra on steroids. Uh, you're bringing in some tropical fruits. You're bringing in uh, some piney notes, some herb, herbaceous notes as well. And the same as Simcoe. Simcoe is basically the same thing as the Mosaic. It's bringing in some, uh, some piney and herbal notes as well as some free notes. So this one here is definitely going to be a beer with some big flavors. Uh, I'm hoping not too much malt. I'm not a fan of malt. Um, but then again, it is an Imperial IPA, so uh, it's to be expected for sure. Uh, so 
Without further ado, I want to crack this one open. I've been trying to get my baby to go to bed for a pretty long time now. So let's see what's going on with this one here. Definitely a weird, a weird logo on this thing. A weird painting. It's a topless, but it's kind of a redheaded guy eating a pizza and drinking a pop on a park bench with no shoes on. Another thing about this thing, about these cans with Collective Arts, they're suggesting what you should listen to while drinking the beer. And this one here, the band is Wolf Parade. The song is You're Dreaming. Album is Cry, Cry, Cry. So I'll have that link in my description of the video. Check it out. I haven't listened to it yet. And make sure to check it out. And uh, if you got a can at home sitting in the fridge, put it on. Let me know uh, how it went. So again, amazing glassware from Jim Line Glassware. Uh, if you own a bar or uh, you're a brewery and you want to have some custom made glasses, um, well, custom printed glass, I should say, these are the guys to call. Uh, they print out, they ship out throughout the Atlantic provinces. Uh, I'm sure they ship out throughout Canada as well. Uh, they do an amazing job. They're amazingly gracious to hook me up with some amazing glasses. The reason why I got this small glass out is because this is an Imperial IPA and it's one to share with a friend. Uh, unfortunately, I'm all alone, so I'll probably just fill it up a couple of times tonight. It's a lot lighter than I thought. A lot lighter than I thought. So this can here, you're definitely not going to miss it in store. Massive, big fruity aroma right off the top. Kind of getting that, that herby, piney resin right away. Definitely smelling like a, a West Coast style IPA. This should be good. I love the color, absolutely love it. For an Imperial IPA, this is really light. It's really nice color. It's beautiful. Good. Smooth. I have to say it does pack a little bit of heat. That 8%, you do feel it going down. It's fruity. It's got a nice lingering bitterness to it. It's herby, it's piney. Really bringing in some, some herbaceous notes in the back end. Really nice. This is a really a, a strong, a, a strong beer. Very good. Very nice, very nice. This, be, this being at an 8.5%, it's not a patio crusher, definitely not. You want to just sip on this one here. It's really nice. It's like your glass of wine at night, 8.5%. Get a can, go home, relax. Netflix and Collective Arts Imperial IPA. Definitely a great, great beer. So this beer here was 749 for a 473 mil. I thought that was pretty expensive. Uh, I whined about it a little bit, but I still bought it anyway because you can't leave a Collective Arts brewing can that you haven't tried on the shelf. So, I didn't whine about that, but I don't whine as much when I pay 20 bucks for a 750 mil bottle of beer. So let's do the math right now and find out if this one here would have been a 750 mil bottle, how much we paid for. Let's do just a quick, quick calculation. <clears throat> on camera, I don't know how well I'm gonna do. We're calculating those, num those numbers. So 473 divided by 750, right? No. So 0.15 cents, 0 0.015 cents per milliliter. We'll times that 750. Really not expensive. For an Imperial IPA, for a 750, if I calculate it right, it would come up to 11 bucks for a 750 mil. Uh, definitely, this is not expensive beer if you're calculating it per milliliter. Uh, so, I mean, 749, yes, it's a lot more expensive than uh, your regular cans of beer, but this one here is an Imperial IPA. A lot of hops went into this one here. It did cost a lot more money to make. 
Um, you definitely taste it in the beer. So um, as far as that goes, it's definitely worth the price. I would buy it again. Cheers. Have a good rest of the weekend. Awesome.